In Japan, ahead of the Olympic Games next summer, many cities are already increasing ties with the rest of the world. Welcome to Spotlight, where we'll discover Japan's host towns. As you know, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games have been postponed to 2021. However, the organizers are keen to pursue the exchange programs that were due to gear up ahead of the Games, including the Host Town Initiative. Although we have many challenges ahead of us, we continue to work hard so that we can welcome the athletes who are training for next year. We hope that the Games will be a symbol of recovery achieved thanks to the courage and solidarity of people around the world. Maebashi is one of the hundreds of local authorities in Japan showing such international solidarity. While some host towns organize cultural or economic exchanges, this city has been hosting athletes from South Sudan who couldn't train at home due to conflict and lack of facilities. This morning, they had language school. To find out more, I head to the city hall. South Sudan finds itself in a difficult situation. We thought that in terms of sport, the city could make a contribution, so we brought the athletes here. We're looking forward to the Olympics. Of course, we're going to encourage Japanese athletes, but I think the pleasure will be doubled because we will be able to encourage the South Sudanese too. These youngsters have been training here since last November, and they have been welcomed to stay despite the Olympics postponement. All their costs are financed by donations from Japanese citizens. It's a life changing. I've been training under very hard conditions. So this is a new experience and, you know, experiencing new world with the, uh, you know, a lot of things. It's a kind of interesting time for me. Many residents of Maebashi offer their help, like this coach. I've just finished working as a teacher. So I agreed to help the South Sudanese athletes. Locals are doing their best to help athletes feel at home. We created these T-shirts so that the South Sudanese athletes who live in Mayabashi do not feel alone or sad, and that they feel the encouragement of the whole community. Next host town, Yamadamachi. This small seaside town has a long history with the Netherlands dating back from the 17th century since a Dutch ship crashed on its shore. This island is actually known today as Oranda Jima, or Holland Island. Yamadamachi was devastated by the earthquake and tsunami of 2011. To thank the world for the aid it received, notably from the Netherlands, it's an arigato host town for supporting reconstruction. Recently, it welcomed Dutch karate athletes. We wanted to express our gratitude for the support we've received from all over the world through the host towns and thus create a link. Lots of people helped us build Aranda Jima House. The idea was to create an after-school club for the kids to study in. As seen during the recent Rugby World Cup, the residents of Yamada are using the games as an opportunity to discover European culture <laughs> and share the unique Japanese hospitality. This concept is known as omotenashi. The traditional tea ceremony is the embodiment of the ancient Japanese tradition of welcoming, where the host is attentive to the needs of the guest. We purify ourselves by chasing out incoherent thoughts to become a person who gets to feel what the guests think or perceive the difficulties they have. Thank you for following us. Arigato, as the Japanese say. In the next episode of Spotlight, we'll take you to the Fukushima region, which will also host the Olympic Games.